Now today we're going to be working on a new set of hypothesis testing and that is the chi-square goodness of fit test. Now let's start with our problem. Now for this chi-square goodness of fit test, Tash, who is the manager of a car dealership, did not want to stock cars that were bought less frequently because of their unpopular color. Now the five colors that he ordered were red, yellow, green, blue, and white. Now according to Tash, the expected frequencies or number of customers choosing each color should follow the percentages of last year. Now he felt 20% would choose yellow, 30% would choose red, 10% would choose green, 10% would choose blue, and 30% would choose white as their car color preferences. Now, he took a random sample of 150 customers and asked them their color preferences. And here are the distribution of Tash's survey from the 150 individuals that he asked about their car color preferences. Now, for red, uh, 50 of them chose red, 35 chose yellow, 30 for green, 10 um, like blue and 25 for white. Now that's the distribution of uh, Tash's survey for his 150 samples. Now from last year's percentages, which I mentioned on the previous question, for uh, the red cars, 30% prefer red last year, 20% for yellow, 10% for green, 10% for blue, and 30% for white. Now, with this data set, we can now um, test the uh, goodness of fit or chi-square goodness of fit to check whether this year's car color pre preferences is the same as last year based on Tasha's survey. So for today, we're going to be working on the chi-square procedure. And for step number one, we're going to write our hypothesis, which is for H sub O, it's going to be represented by P sub 1 equal to P sub 2 equal to P sub 3 equal to P sub 4 and equal to P sub 5. Wherein P sub 1 is the proportion of people who are uh, leaning towards red as the car color preferences. P sub 2 is for yellow, P sub 3 is green, P sub 4 is for blue car, and P sub 5 is for white. Now, to write it in the context of the problem, our null hypothesis is that we are testing it if there is no significant difference between the proportion of customers choosing um, car color from last year. Now, the alternative hypothesis is going to be that there is a significant difference between the proportions of the customer's car color preference from last year. So those are our hypotheses and now we can proceed to our conditions for our chi-square goodness of fit test. So for our condition, just like the conditions that we did for proportion, but this time we're going to add the expected count. The expected count right here is one of the conditions that we need to satisfy in a chi-square goodness of fit. And it states that it needs to be greater than 5. Now our n in our expected count formula is the sample size. And p sub i is the individual proportion for our word problem. So for this problem, 30% or we know that 30% prefer red car from last year, 20% for yellow, 10% for green, 10% percent for blue and 30 percent for white. Multiply it by the sample size of 150 and we will get the expected count for each proportion. So for red it's 45, for yellow it's 30, green is 15, blue is 15, white is 45. Now since all our expect expected count, also known as the expected value, is greater than 5, so now we can proceed to our test statistic without any precaution. So this is our expected value. So our test statistic for chi-square goodness of fit is given by this formula. Chi-square, or our test statistic for this particular hypothesis testing, is observed minus expected squared all over expected. Now this is a little bit different from uh, the... Uh, test statistic that we did for mu and proportion in the past. Now our test statistic is a little bit more complex than, uh, be, than the other hypothesis testing that we had for mu and uh, p. So for our table, we have the color preferences, which is red, yellow, green, blue, and white. And for our observed value, this is basically 
from Tash's survey from our word problem, which is 50, 35, 30, 10, 25, add them all up, it's equal to 150. So basically this is from our survey sample. And our expected count or expected value, which we computed from our previous example a while ago, is 150 times 0.30, which is 45. So if you use your formula for red, we have 45, 30 for yellow, green is 15, blue is 15, and white is 45. And these are our expected value, which we will use in our formula. So to find our test statistic, it's observed minus expected squared all over expected. So if we use the formula for red, O minus E squared all over E, so 15 minus 45 squared all over 45 will give us 0.83, so we have a chi-square of 0.83 for our red. Now we're going to do it with yellow, green, and blue. So if we use the formula, we'll have 0.56 for yellow, 15 for green, 1.67 for blue, and 8.89 for white. And to add them all up, we'll be able to find our test statistic or our chi-square test statistic, which is 26.95. So this is now our test statistic. It's neither T or Z. Now we have the chi-square. Now how are we going to find the p-value of our chi-square? So we're going to use our calculator or our, the table of values at the back of the book to find our p-value. And from our p-value with a chi-square equal to 26.95. Degrees of freedom is equal to 4 because it's n minus 1. The p-value is now 2.03 times 10 to the negative 5, which is 0.00002023. So with a p-value this small, for 10%, 5%, and even 1%, um, significance level, we know that we are still rejecting the null hypothesis. Now, for our hypotheses, the null hypothesis is that there's no significant difference in the proportions, and for the alternative, there's a significant difference on proportions for car color preferences. So, since we rejected the null hypothesis, so rejected it, so we are now in favor of the alternative hypothesis, so therefore, for our conclusion, with a very small p-value, we have a sufficient evidence to reject the uh, null hypothesis, which makes our test significant. So therefore, there's a difference between the proportion of the customer's car color preferences from last year's data set. So that means Tash can conclude that there is a difference for uh, the car color preferences for this year's customers based of the last year's data set that we had.